Hello there and welcome. Thank you for tuning in. This is Justin Mott and now it's time for your local and area news. Well, the Take a Kid Fishing Tournament 2019 was held this past Saturday at the Huxley Bay Marina. Children from all around gathered to partake in the tournament. Here are the results. For age group 3 to 5, the largest single brim by weight, weighing in at 0.39 of a pound, went to Trip Soul, the smallest fish by length was 5.4 millimeters going to Elijah Poindexter, the heaviest string by weight, weighing in at 2.08 pounds, went to Reese Jin Sami. For age group 6 to 10, largest single brim by weight, weighing in at 0.62 of a pound, went to Braxton Amy, smallest fish by length, 5 millimeters, Macy Mintz, heaviest string by weight, weighing in at 2.63 pounds, Braxton Amy, and for age group 11 to 15, Largest single brim by weight, weighing in at 0.41 of a pound, Mason Cook. Smallest fish by length, 9 millimeters, went to James Burns. And the heaviest string by weight, weighing in at 1.62 pounds, went to Detorious Hubbard. The overall winner of the tournament was Braxton Amy. And he received both the overall largest single brim by weight and overall heaviest stringer by weight. Which means that he won both of the $100 Kenneth Folsom Memorial gift cards donated by the Shelby County Bass Anglers, totaling $200 in gift cards. Also, congratulations go out to the Shelbyville Lions Club boat raffle winner that was chosen during our tournament, Miss Elliott. Congratulations to Miss Elliott, who won the Shelbyville Lions Club boat. Now, after the tournament, I caught up with Braxton and Amy, and we did an interview. Braxton, how does it feel to win the fishing tournament? Really good. Now, how old are you, Braxton? Six. Have you been fishing long? No. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. In other news, Pastor Josh Crawford with the Pleasant Grove Baptist Church tells us of their upcoming fundraiser that they're doing this weekend on the downtown Center City Square. Hey, everybody. Um, I just want to invite y'all all to come out and get in town this Saturday, if the weather permits anyway. We're going to have a roadblock for our church, and we're collecting money uh, and funds for our church camp. The first time we're going to do it, we just got a small group of kids. So y'all help us get to church camp and, and so we can uh, be a blessing to the children. Thanks. And in your arrest report from St. Augustine County, Charles Robert Riley, parole violation, Tobias Cartwright, warrant burglary of habitation, Brent Howard Denby, evading arrest with a vehicle, and Eddie Lee Wade, warrant for burglary of a building, possession of a controlled substance. In your obituaries, Mr. Nathan Otis Watson, 69, abroad, has passed away on the 9th in his residence. He is survived by his wife of 45 years, Becky Watson, abroad, along with a host of other family and friends. Memorial services Saturday, May the 18th at 2 p.m. at the Trinity Baptist Church in Broadus with Brother Don Lofton officiating. Molly Louise Wiggins, 76, of Fort Worth, passed away on the 10th in Fort Worth. Gradeside services today at 10 a.m. at the East Hamilton Cemetery. The family is being served by the Mangum Funeral Home of Center. Joyce Spurlock Hill, 68, of Joaquin, passed away on the 9th in Joaquin. Gradeside services will take place today at 2 p.m. at the Willow Grove Cemetery with Brother Jody Hooper officiating. Visitation today from 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. at the Mangum Funeral Home. This has been Justin Mott with your news, encouraging you to go out and be amazing. CBC-radio.com, keeping you connected wherever you go.